Welcome, and thank you for clicking on this video. In the studio today, I have a Player Series Fender Mustang PJ Bass. Let's check it out. First of all, I want to say a huge thank you and shout out to my friends at the Long McQuay at the Pemina site in Winnipeg. Since I moved to Winnipeg in 2007, the uh, staff at the Long McQuaid there have really been very helpful in helping me source gear. Uh, in fact, most of my recording chain uh, came from uh, that Long McQuaid, as well as a uh, you know, handful of those snare drums. So huge shout out to the uh, uh, staff over at Long McQuaid, a permanent location in Winnipeg. Check them out. So this is a Fender Mustang player series, uh, PJ Mustang Bass. These are one of my favorite series of short scale basses. Uh, I think for, for the price, the playability and tone uh, is right up there. So these are made in Mexico. This is the Age Natural Finish in this particular model, an example that I have in my hand. It features a Mustang style alder body, a maple neck. And unlike the vintage Mustangs, these have a PJ pickup configuration. Three-way switch, the controls are of volume and tone, and it has Fender style open gear tuners. These are uh, a 30 inch scale neck, so very playable. Uh, and the, the shorter scale length makes it both easier to play, but it also changes the tone. It makes the tone a little less taut, a little more uh, focused, and a, perhaps a little mellower in the high end as well. This bass is currently strung with the stock Fender round wounds. Let's hear some of the sounds we can get from this particular bass. Why don't we start with the volume all the way up with this switch at the P pickup, so the neck pickup, and we'll start with the tone all the way down. Let's roll that tone knob up to about 50% or so. Let's roll the tone knob all the way up, wide open, still on the neck P pickup. Now let's turn on the bridge J pickup. Let's put the three-way selector in the middle, so we're hearing both pickups. Now let's roll the volume, uh, let's keep the volume all the way up rather, and let's roll the tone knob all the way down. Let's roll that tone knob up to about 50%. Now, toe knob wide open, both pickups. Now the bridge pickup alone on a short scale bass, I don't really think is a usable sound soloed, but I'll let you hear it anyways with the tone knob around 50%. So just the bridge pickup soloed. So by itself, it's a little thin, but I think blended in with the neck P pickup, you can get uh, quite a variety of usable tones. Now, let's see how these tones stack up against the drum track. I think the four most usable sounds are the P pickup alone with a tone knob at 50%, the P pickup alone with a tone knob wide open, and then both the P and the J with a tone at 50%, and then P and the J with a tone wide open. Let's give it a listen, and we'll come back and talk about it. Here we go. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I think the Fender Player Series Mustang Bass uh, is a fantastic value and it sounds fantastic. Uh, I hope you were able to hear some of the different tones you can get out of this bass currently strung with Fender Roundwounds uh, from that playing example. I think the playability of the 30 inch scale uh, and, and the curvature of the neck, this is a very comfortable neck to play with. Uh, it's very, very similar, if not identical, to uh, my red Mustang there, and that has been one of my favorite bases for, for many, many years. The weight of this one's also quite uh, lightweight. This lightweight, older bodied uh, base weighs about eight pounds. So I think if you're playing long sets uh, on a strap, or even if you're sitting, uh, this base hangs very comfortably and with the lighter weight and the shorter scale, it's going to make those long sets way more comfortable for you to play. If I had to provide Fender with any feedback at all on, on this base, uh, there are a few things I would, I would change on, on this base. Uh, the first one is, is a purely cosmetic issue, but if you look at the bridge, the saddle adjustment screws are black instead of chrome colored. Uh, and just purely from a cosmetic point of view, the black screws and the black strings there just seem somewhat out of place uh, given the uh, other kind of chrome colored appointments on, on this base. I'm not quite sure why they did that, but again, that has absolutely no uh, effect on the function of the base. That is purely a, a cosmetic issue. Similarly, there's a small kind of uh, mark in the wood there in the neck does not affect the playability at all. It's been sanded completely smooth. It's just something you notice when, uh, when you are in the playing position. And the only other thing I'd say is right out of the box, the setup on this bass was very, very playable. However, the intonation was slightly off. And I think that's more a product of this bass having, uh, you know, been made in another country and then it likely spent uh, quite a bit of time either in cardboard boxes or shipping containers before it made it to my local music store. So I think that is just the, that's the reality of instruments being uh, made in a different climate. Uh, but otherwise, I think the value and the, and the performance of this bass is very much uh, worth the asking price. So if you're looking for a short scale bass that kind of covers a whole range of different sounds, this could be the one for you. At time of filming, this bass is retailing for 1,169 Canadian dollars and uh, is currently available in store and online at Long McQuaid. Check it out. Thanks so much for watching this video. As always, I would very much appreciate if you would support the channel by hitting that like button or this and the subscribe button. Thanks so much for watching. See you next time.